Now. Last week I got pulled over the side of the road by the police just outside Leicester. The reason they stopped me, they said, is because I had a dirty windscreen. Ridiculous. They kept me there over 20 minutes. They're incredibly condescending. I left feeling angry and humiliated. It's one of those classic situations where afterwards you think of all the things you wish you'd said. Basically, if I ever get stopped by the police just outside Leicester again, I'll have all the right answers. The policeman will come up to my window and say, Do you know why I've stopped you? I'll say, Hmm, is it because your mother never loved you and you feel you ought to take out your resultant anger, insecurity and frustration on decent, hard-working people by accepting paid employment as a professional fascist? Is that why you've stopped me? And you'll say, you've got a very dirty windscreen, how can you see out of that? I'll say, I clearly can see out of it, can't I? Given that I started off in London, <laughs> I'm now just outside Leicester, and in the preceding 120 miles, I've somehow managed not to crash into anything or anyone. Although, if you care to stand in front of my vehicle, <laughs> uh, that's a situation I'll happily rectify. <laughs> I say, don't get smart with me, son. I say, it's difficult not to get smart with you, officer. We've been talking for a few minutes now, and all the evidence suggests you're mentally subnormal. <laughs> you'll say, I'm now officially charging you with using abusive language towards a police officer. You have the option of paying an on-the-spot £80 fine or appearing in court. And I'll say, £80? You'll say, that's right. I'll say, in that case, I'd better have my money's worth. You snivelling, odious, <laughs> pathetic, <laughs> cock-munching shits, Beetle. With a toilet full of broken dreams. Every moment of your existence, God weeps a fresh tear of regret at what he's created. As with vomit rising in his throat, he watches you scuttling up and down the motorway, looking for people whose day you can ruin. You are poor pig. May you die, may you die without ever knowing the love of another human being. On the day of your death, may the rancid, black, bile-filled heart that beats within your chest be trampled upon, stamped into the ground by the massive, euphoric crowd that has gathered to exult in your demise and destruction. Because that day, the world will be free again. Birds will sing in the sky. Children will skip in the streets. God will lift his head and smile, you unspeakable, filthy, feculent, cuntitudinous fucker. So ladies and gentlemen, the main